you to Vandergraaf for sponsoring this Road to Recovery video. Visit their website to learn how the Grizzly Drive drum motor increases the reliability and reduces the cost of ownership of conveyor systems. Ken, just switching gears a little bit, another area that the workforce survey got into was project types and were there some delays, cancellations, or, or maybe some setbacks? And it seemed like maybe depending on the nature of the job, whether it's a building or, or a highway, that, that some construction jobs are seeing more setbacks than others. Our readers on Pitt and Quarry, that, you know, they're supplying a lot of materials for, for highways, non-building construction, and uh, it didn't seem like that was necessarily impacted as, as much based on what AGC collected from, from members through the survey. What, what, what did you find when it came to the types of projects that were, were being delayed? And do you have any thoughts on, on why certain jobs are impacted more when it comes to delays and cancellations than other jobs? Well, it is a matter of degree. Uh, AGC has four divisions for general contractors, and uh, some of them work in, in multiple divisions, or they answered for this. So uh, we have building contractors, we have highway and transportation contractors, we have a heavy, uh, a federal and heavy division, mostly folks who are working for the Corps of Engineers or uh, General Services Administration, maybe uh, NAVFAC, and then a utility infrastructure division. And so uh, we broke out uh, the answers to the survey uh, on those grounds. And we saw that uh, the building division contractors had the uh, most projects canceled, postponed, or scaled back. Two thirds of them said that they had been affected by that. On the highway and transportation division was 56% compared to 66% uh, for the building division. And uh, with the building division, um, the, the predominant reason uh, was uh, cost increases. Probably it made the, the owner back off. A, a private business, a developer or investor, a university or another institution, certainly uh, a religious institution that has a fixed budget, if the costs are going up, they may say, wait, we're going to have to do some more fundraising or we want to make sure this project pencils out before we tell you to go ahead. I think... <clears throat> In the highway sector, um, the nature of, of that hard bid process is that the contractor is stuck with it. If, they, if the bid is accepted by the DOT, uh, then uh, they're going to have to go ahead. They, they may get some grace period, uh, the liquidated damages that accompany um, any projects. If you don't finish on time, if they're able to show that they really can't get the materials, uh, that's one thing, but uh, just experiencing higher than expected costs for the steel or the uh, plastics, uh, that's not uh, reason enough. So I think that's why uh, you see that difference between the building and the highway contractors. Thank you to Vandergraaf for sponsoring this Road to Recovery video. Visit their website to learn how the Grizzly Drive drum motor increases the reliability and reduces the cost of ownership of conveyor systems.